Hello YouTube people. Today I'm gonna show you yet another big Casio watch. This time it's a big red G-Shock. <laughs> uh, I have bought this watch used. I bought it from Poland via website called Vinted. I paid 35 euros and especially considering the condition of this watch I think I got super good deal because the condition of this watch is like it's, it's almost like new. Now I haven't bought this watch just to have some fun to make this review and sell afterwards as I usually do. I actually bought this watch for myself with intentions to use this watch as my summer watch because you know big red G-Shock it's typical beach watch and I really like that it's a lot of fun it's this watch is a lot of fun it's, it's very playful but after wearing this watch for one day I decided no I actually gonna sell it because initially when I put this watch on my wrist it was like wow amazing so comfortable so light but after wearing this watch for full day no I decided that my wrist is still too small for this watch when I tighten this watch enough for myself I don't want it any tighter than that there is still huge huge gap on the side and it just annoys me it's I mean everything is fine it's comfortable but whenever I see this gap it's like come on it's 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 way too big for me and overall this watch is it's rather big it kind of tends to get in a way a little bit so that's why i'm gonna sell this watch sadly but it doesn't mean it's a bad watch it's still a lot of fun and if you have big wrists i think you're gonna enjoy this watch a lot it's a very good watch so let's take a better look <music> To give you a better perspective on the size of this watch, let me put this watch next to some other watches, Casio Wall Timer and Square G-Shock. So that's how it looks next to them. Especially next to Square G-Shock, it's a lot longer watch, a lot thicker, wider, well basically bigger watch in all directions. And next to Casio Wall Timer as well, Casio Wall Timer looks like a small watch next to this red G-Shock. So if I measure this watch from this place to this place, hold on a second, it is well roughly almost 48 millimeters, quite a big watch. Now from side to side, like so, it's roughly 48 and a half millimeters. And the thickness of this watch is about, about 15 millimeters. So big watch but most importantly it's a very long watch because when I tighten this strap on my wrist what it does it actually goes into this oval shape like like so it squeezes my wrist right in this point so I can't really tighten it more and it remains this long like it it, it, it gets into this shape and that's why on the side I get a lot of free space so how to measure lock to lock distance I don't even know but let's try first of all let's measure the case so if I measure just the case it's 53 <laughs> 53 and 7 53.7 millimeters lock to lock that's a long watch but I probably should be measuring this watch from the first edge of a strap to another edge of a strap so it's roughly 66 millimeters if I measure like so either way you measure it it's <laughs> it's a big watch you, you you need to have really big wrists for this watch but surprisingly this watch doesn't feel uncomfortable because because mainly of two reasons first of all it's relatively light watch actually surprisingly light watch when you look at this watch it's like wow it's gonna be heavy but you put it on the wrist and it's like wow it's, it's not that heavy it's just 63 grams so it's rather lightweight watch and another thing why this watch doesn't feel uncomfortable is because it it for the same reason it because it shapes this oval shape and oval shape on the wrist you no know, no my wrist for example is also oval shape so it fits me well that's why i don't feel discomfort only this you know gap left on the side and when i put my my this watch on my wrist it's like like so it's like there is so much space left and I can't tighten it anymore because it just squeezes this part of my wrist more instead of becoming shorter so 
It's it's always like this. So yeah, I would say it's it's okay, especially if you wear this watch on the joint. But if you wear this watch on the joint, then come on, it's such a big watch. It really limits the range of motion for the wrist. It's it's very uncomfortable. I wear watches over the wrist bone. Where is it? Over the wrist bone like this. So it doesn't get in the way of my movement. But for that reason, I still have so much space on the side. Yeah, and, and that kind of annoys me a little bit. So to wear this watch properly, you have to be either very patient, <laughs> love this watch very much, or have big wrists. This watch has a very good backlight. Uh, not only it illuminates the hands, but the screen as well. So it has two lights. One light is right there behind the screen somewhere. And another light is here. So you see hands and digital screen as well, which is a little bit unusual. Usually watches like this have only one light that illuminates just the hands but this one illuminates the screen as well also this light is so strong this one that you can actually use this watch as a torch you know to shine into k hole at night it's it could be used a little bit like a torch like a flashlight so it's very good backlight another thing which i like very much is that the stopwatch it's just a press of a button away. You are like this on the main screen, seeing month, day, and date. And you just press this button, and that's it. Stopwatch is going. I find this very convenient, very nice thing to have. And you can also store laps with this button. It's like one lap. And right now it doesn't show the counting, but it actually counts next lap. So next lap, next lap, next lap. How many laps can it store? I actually don't know. It looks like 999 probably, <laughs> I don't know, but like that, then I stop, reset, then I go into recordings and it shows when exactly it was recorded and I go into laps and for example, I want to see the time of lap number 10. So let's go to lap number 10 and the time was... 30 milliseconds. Well, that's a fast lap. Anyway, so that's most importantly. What I like the most is that just press this button and it says stopwatch is going. I find it very convenient, very nice thing to have. This watch also has several other interesting quirky features that I like. For example, seconds hand doesn't only show you seconds it also participates <laughs> in the menu settings for example i go into alarm settings okay and i would like to turn on the chime on, on hourly beep you know hourly beep so this is hourly beep and right now seconds hand shows off you see shows off and if i press this button it goes to on so keep pressing this button like on off on off so let's make hourly beep on that's it so it's kind of nice to see that second hand participates in the menu settings as well Another nice quirky thing that I like about this watch as most other digital analog watches is that when you are setting something up, for example, setting up a timer function. So let's do that. I'm setting the timer function and hands gradually move away. I just I just like that. And on the screen you see blinking uh, hands. Hands sign. So it means that Hands are currently not showing you the time, they're just staying out of the way. So for example, uh, also another thing at the same time while I'm showing you the timer function is that I can go up in numbers 
and I can do I can go down in numbers. So let's say I set the timer five minutes or five hours. No, this is five hours. Yes, you can't set seconds on this timer. So let's say I, I did the setting and hands move back in the place. I just like playing with this for some reason. I don't know, just set the timer and hands move out of the way. <laughs> I just I just like to see how they dance around. I somewhat find it pleasing. Last thing which I would like to show you is how to align hands. When I bought this watch, hands were misaligned and they were not showing the same time as on the screen. So for the demonstration purposes, I have misaligned the hands to show you how to realign them back to the position. So what you do is hold adjust button until you hear the second beep. First beep still holding. Second beep. And right now we enter into secondary menu where we set the alignment of hands. First of all, seconds zero zero. We have to set set the seconds hand into zero zero position. And we do that with these two buttons. One button goes one way, another button goes another way. So let's set the seconds hand right on the center of the midnight. Now press small button. And right now we have to align hour and minute hands. You can't align them separately because they are connected via gearing. You align them together just as simply setting the time. So let's wait till they stop. Should be showing midnight. But if hands are misaligned, they are going to stop somewhere else. So like now hands are misaligned. So the way to align them also these two buttons, one button going one way, another, another way. So if you don't want to press multiple times, just hold it, release it. Now stop it. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. So basically play with these buttons and that's the way how to get them back into their position right now right now everything is set nicely on the midnight hands are aligned press the adjust button and that's it you good now the time should be correct analog and digital time should be exactly the same so seconds are correct our minute hand are correct and the way how i know how to set it all up is thanks to watch geek youtube channel on youtube <laughs> youtube channel on youtube yeah so uh, if you want to see a full tutorial how to use this watch i'm gonna put the link in the description to watch geek channel tutorial on this watch wonderful tutorial shows you everything in great detail Right, so what are conclusions where I'm gonna put this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. Well, this watch is a lot of fun. I like the functionality, but because of its size and proportions, it kind of tends to get in a way a little bit too much for my liking. But it doesn't mean that it's a bad watch. It's definitely not a bad watch. And that's where it goes. Not bad. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.